how in the world do they do that? <laughs> That's uh, what you'll hear our next guest uh, be asked a lot when he mm -hmm. performs this weekend. Kevin Spencer joins us, and mm -hmm. he you're going to do this because my throat's just bad here. <laughs> What's going on here? You know, I got that you're cough. Making your throat I promise disappear. I had nothing to do with making Sean disappear there. <laughs> that was not okay. me on that one. So. All right, so you're in this weekend. You're we an are. illusionist, yes. and you're going to trick our eyes. And, but teach us really cool yes, stuff. We're going to teach you some stuff here. this yeah. morning, but we okay. are performing this weekend, Saturday night at the Overture Center, so it okay. should be great fun. Okay. Magic's not magic without ropes, right? Yes. Yeah. So we're going to okay, teach you guys cool. how to do a pretty cool trick. Okay. We're going to tie a knot in the rope without okay. letting go of either end of the rope. So the, uh, let me put my little box down here. So the easiest okay. way to do this is you're going to cross your arms, one hand on top, Undo one hand on the bottom. Okay. There you go. And then morning exercise, okay. reach up, okay. grab. Get your side. I can't. Come on. You have my rope. No, I don't. You don't. Okay. Now we're going to ball it all up. Right. Oh, see, no, I, didn't, I didn't do it. Oh, very good. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay, Cheryl will be on the show this weekend. He needs remedial. Yeah, you know what? I'll show you an easier one. You'll like this one a little okay. better. We're going to tie a knot at the end of the rope. Okay. So you just kind of bring it up like this, and you go like this, and it's a little bounce. Boom. Oh, wait a minute. It didn't work. Hang on. <laughs> go like this. There you go. And then there's the knot. Oh, my God. So heads. here's the way to do this one. Go ahead and yeah. tie a knot in the end of your rope. <laughs> and then you switch, right? I thought I saw Hold the knot in your hand look like this. Um, you break this it. one up oh, and so man. drop like that this. one down. And then, ta-da! Ta-da! Oh, See, there's what you could do for the rest of the day. I am so entertaining right. my boys with this today. <laughs> okay. All right. What's next? <laughs> Hey, we want to show some video too, or maybe while you're setting up your next, because sure. you guys do, uh, you do quite a show here. Yeah, how did you get started in this? Yeah. Little magic set that my mom and dad got me for Christmas when really? I was about seven. Yeah. And you just Kidding. fell in love with it? Fell in love with it then. Saw my first magician when I was five on television, said, when I grow up, this is what I'm going to do. Mm -hmm. And it, what started as a little teeny show is now the second largest touring illusion show in the country next to Mr. Look Copperfield. Like, so. Look like you were doing a little Houdini. <laughs> we do. We end the show by recreating one of Houdini's underwater escapes. So, oh, wow. especially for Wisconsin, it's kind of a nice tribute. Oh, sure. And we're going to be doing something in the show on Saturday night that we're very fortunate. We work with a lot of creators uh, that come up with original magic for mm -hmm. us. So so the things that people will see us perform on Saturday night are a lot of things they've never seen before. So it kind of gives us an opportunity to bring a little bit of new magic to the show. You stage. have to be very creative to, you know, to think of stuff, new stuff that's not the same old, oh, here comes the bird out of the hat. Exactly. And, you know, yeah. Like oh, I have great guys who create this stuff for me. I'm going to walk through a solid mm -hmm. concrete wall on Friday, on Saturday mm -hmm. night. Uh, some some really okay. different cool. different things. We call the show Theater of Illusion because uh -huh. it, it's kind of non-traditional magic. It's a combination of theater and magic, uh, very audience interactive. So if people like to be on the stage, mm -hmm. get their minds oh, read, cut up, that sorts of thing, we're going <laughs> <be looking, laughs> to be looking for lots of people from the audience. Oh, very All good. right. Okay. Well, thank you very much, and have fun this week. Thank you. Thanks for having me Thanks. in. Yeah. You can see Theater of Illusion at the Overture Capital Theater tomorrow at 8 p.m. Now tickets range from $22 to $35. For more information, you can go to OvertureCenter.com.